And hey guys, this is Lars from uh, DEMA 2017 in Florida, Orlando. Um, I'm at the iDive side booth and I am surrounded by all the new stuff that we're going to be seeing here next year. And I'm going to try and guide you through it, okay? That's a lot of it. So let's start from the bottom with the small stuff. The small lights that you might already know, we have the V10 D7 before. The D7 is a spot, the V10 is a floodlight. Uh, those have been upgraded. The V10 is now called V12 and it's going to have even more lumens in the same package with the same price. We're going to have a D10 as well, which is the spotlight. And the interesting bit is that finally they are having the snoot made for it. Um, and you're able to have a really powerful small snoot for your compact camera to do some snoot macro shooting. Um, there's a third light, it's called, going to call the V RGB or V color, and that will enable you to make uh, background uh, colors. See here, different uh, colors, and you can use that for uh, lighting your background in any macro subject. That's going to be interesting. Uh, other lights that has come out is the larger one, it's called the Venom 40 RGB. It's uh, replacing the Venom 38 and 35. And uh, it's the great spotlight. Um, need to turn it on first. So there we go. Uh, it's an RGB version with the um, switch button here. I forgot that um, I have to light it up or turn it on first like this. See, it, instead of the spot, it has uh, different colors. That's interesting because you can also make different uh, effects in the background. Uh, and of course, it has the very sharp um, high power uh, video light, imaging light, uh, 4000 lumen. And um, I'm just turn this one off again. And of course, it's got red light for focusing as well. Uh, the Big Brother uh, Venom 50 has been upgraded. Uh, it now has an even better COB, so it has a much more, much more uh, real uh, light, a uh, Cree value of more than 80 now, which is great as well. Then already on the market is the Black Star 30, nice little light. I, that one is already uh, for sale back on the shelves in the shop back home. Uh, this has a big brother called the Black Star 40. And this one's been out for some time now as well. This one I'm already selling, but the news here is that they finally have the snoot, uh, the snoot uh, mounts ready. And these are gonna be extremely interesting because first of all, they have different colors. So you can again make colors. I don't know if you're into all these color things, but if you are, that's the opportunity there. But this will focus this very powerful 2000 uh, lumen per head light um, into some really interesting snoot lights. I'm not sure, maybe you can see it here. So this will be a magnificent video uh, macro snoot light, um, which I personally am is going to be using all winter from now on. The interesting bit about the Black Star 40 is that it goes on one battery solution, so you can configure it very easily. And it's going to be great for a compact, very small compact setup with a macro. So this is the setup I'm going to be using later. Uh, of other things, we have a new, a very new thing. It's a, it's a buoyancy arm but it's uh, made for internal batteries. So buoyancy control battery arm, it's, that's the real name of it. The interesting bit is here that you can, um, you, can adjust, you can adjust the buoyancy on it. So you can mount this one to your BC hose and you can inflate it underwater and remove some water or you can add some water and you can then trim your system uh, as much as you want to. See, even this one will go to about 40, 60 meters, depending on the units that you put inside. Oh, I didn't know it was this tight. Um, but the funny part of this one is that you might think, what are all these uh, outlets? They are outlets for the battery, because in here sits a Venom battery. So in the future, you will see an adapter that can go on the Venom light heads, and the arm can power your light. And so you have this buoyancy arm, and just a small cord over to the battery head, and you'll have a very compact and easy system uh, for when you need to go down in tricky environments to do some, um, some macro or whatever you need to do. So the buoyant arm is gonna be interesting to, uh, it's just getting finished this spring and uh, I'm definitely gonna try and trim it as much as possible to see if I can get a completely trimmed system and later we're gonna see the, the court solutions for the uh, light heads, different light heads. Um, and now that leads me to controlling this light because maybe I should start a different place. We have a new Venom, sorry, Symbiosis coming out. The Symbiosis SS2R version, it's called a remote version. 
uh, there's going to be an inlet on it so you can actually control it through the irc one unit that you already know, the fiber optic control unit that we have. It has a big brother now. It's called the irc 2 And this is the small digital unit. So when you turn it on, you then have an LCD screen here that tells you exactly the status of the light and you can switch between the lights. You see there's four different holes here, but there's two in and two out. So you can actually put the IRC one here when you, with your thumbs and have this one sitting on top of the camera housing and you can change between the lights. Uh, meaning the, the, the control and, and, and handling of a light from from your handles is going to be much easier in the future. And let me show you just that because we made a setup here. If I can find a bit of room here. Uh, you see here is a setup with a small compact camera. And here the unit is sitting up here. You see the battery level and the, uh, um, the level for the light. And you can control it by turning it up and down here with your thumbs. Or you can just use the system up here. Of course you don't need all three. You can just have this one just like you before just had this one. But the, the new thing is that besides controlling the Venom lights, it will now also control the new Symbiosis lights. And the Symbiosis has two different uh, functionalities. It's a flash and a floodlight. So by being able to handle, handle it much easier here down from the camera system will be great. So I'm looking forward for that one to come out really soon too. Uh, those of you who know the, the, the Symbiosis would notice that there was something attached here and yes, it's something I think I might actually have talked about it last year. It is a, it's a snoot, it's a snoot system. And you, of course, you know snoot systems already. The, the, the funny thing here is that the symbiosis is, as I mentioned before, a combination of floodlight and flashlight. And one of the big problems with snoot photography is that you don't have a proper light, uh, pilot light to see what you're actually doing. So every time you're shooting, you're shooting flash blinded, blindfolded, but here you have um, let me see if I can even turn this one on. Here you have a very, very powerful, uh, if you put the 4000 lumen head on, you will have a, an extremely powerful video light that you can use or even just use it as a pilot light for the flash. And I have actually a demo unit of this at home. I've had it over the summer. I did some testing with my light measuring in the photo studio. And you know, there's not that many f-stops between the powerful LED light and the flash. So um, it, this can actually really be used for videography and snoots and videography is something that has not been very common in, in the past, but it will now and it'll be a very affordable solution because you already have this, the, the symbiosis who is um, easily uh, adapted with these uh, new snoots. So this is probably the version that it's gonna look like. I think this is one of the last tests uh, it's all about the fiber optics that sits in there. That's the tricky part. And I think they have uh, controlled that now. So you see, there's quite a few things to look forward to in the upcoming year. And of course, as soon as these things come out, I will stock them and uh, you can uh, contact me and uh, have a chat about what your needs are. So thank you for Dema Orlando 2017. Adios.